Welcome to weekly vlog 70. I can't believe we're in the 70s, but hey, there we go. Like 70 weekly vlogs, that's crazy. I do have to apologize that it's actually Wednesday. So you guys know I don't really record on Mondays because I do the weekly vlog all day. Plus if you watch the end of last week's weekly vlog, and if you watch, like if you follow along on my Instagram, so my Instagram story, hang on a second, then you'll know that uh, the rabbit's cage was taken on Monday night. So yeah, I was not in a good place on Monday. There was crying, let's say that. Uh, and I've rearranged the sitting room a little bit now as well. Um, the, big, the pink bookcase is now where the rabbit's cage used to be. So yeah, uh, that was Monday. And then yesterday, I basically had to get on with some stuff for Secret Project that is like, it's really coming down to it now and it's getting down to the nitty gritty like it really shouldn't be too much longer until I can like tell you guys what it is and 28 Magic Lane as well is getting a lot of work done to it so it's all kind of happening and I'm learning to use a lot of new equipment and it's very stressful and oh lord yesterday was just a very stressful day I was at the computer all day uh, lifting heavy boxes setting up equipment oh at one point i just had to come away from the computer and i sat on the bed and you know when you're just so like agitated from concentrating <gasps> honestly like trust me i i could not have recorded yesterday but i got a lot done there's still a lot to do but i got a lot done so anyway today i was running around like a lunatic because i had a doctor's appointment quite early i tried to make my doctor's appointments early so that it gets me out of the house for the day but i also had a delivery from disney uh, so i was trying to get that up on my instagram which i still haven't actually hang on a second so i've recorded it for my instagram but i haven't put it up on my instagram yet because i didn't have time so i will do that when i get to where i'm going um but i'll show you guys if not tonight then tomorrow uh i've just been running around that lunatic and yeah so i've just been at the doctor's and then I was supposed to be going and meeting Rasheen, um, who is the lovely Disney find on Instagram, but she's not very well. So she's literally just messaged me and said like, well, she messaged me just before I got to the doctors saying like that she's not very well. So she'll have to meet me another day, which, you know, it's fine. Like if she's not well, she's not well. Like my Nana lives around here and my sister and it's not far from Metro Centre. So I'm just gonna, go to me nana's and she's not actually in she's gone out for a toasted tea cake with her friend but i'm gonna go and walk toby because i just really fancy it i just i just miss having a pet and yeah i'm gonna go and walk toby my nana's dog he used to be my dog well he you know he's still my dog but when i lived with me nana like he was my dog <laughs> i'm gonna go around me nana's even though she's not in let myself in i have told her i'm gonna walk toby and then my sister should be ready to go out and i think me and her are going to go to metro center i'm really not sure so yeah because i was going to be going to metro center to meet rasheen so i was supposed to be meeting amy after i met rasheen so now i have like a bit of a gap to fill so i'm going to go walk toby then i'm going to go and meet amy at metro center or i might just go around her house first i don't know um yeah so that was kind of gonna be my day and then the football's on later and I don't know if I'm meeting Matthew to watch it somewhere or if he's just gonna go around his parents, like I don't know. Like I'm not really interested too much in the football but they are getting quite far now and I do feel like, I do love how everybody's getting together and celebrating like England getting so far and they are doing well, bless them. Like it's the best they've done for a long time. So yeah, I might watch it with Matthew later, we'll see. So let's go and walk Toby and I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna have to steal some food at my Nana's house. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of really annoyed and also slightly concerned. Uh, I literally, like I'm on my Nana's drive. I pulled up, like literally went to get out the car, picked up all my stuff and then I went to get the keys and they're gone. I don't understand, like, I never take me nana's keys out of my car. Because if I need to let myself in, like, I let myself in, and then when I leave, I'll lock the door and I'll put the keys back. Like, they're always in my little compartment here, like, they've been there years, like, that's just where they are. So I literally have no idea. And it's weird, the other day when I came, I didn't know if she was in. So I made sure to bring my keys... But she was in. So they should still be in the car. I'm so confused. They're literally nowhere to be seen. I'm so annoyed. I'm going to have to ring her and be like, yeah, no, no, I can't actually walk Toby for you. 
I don't know where the keys are. Like, I've just got out and searched the whole car. Like, I've pulled my car apart. I don't understand where they've gone. I'm actually a little bit worried because it's like, where are they? Hmm. So, I don't know whether to go round to my sister's. I will let you know. I'm going to have to ring some people. <laughs> I've got you down there because there's people in the car next to me and they're looking at me really weird, but never mind. Um, yeah, so I went around my sister's for an hour. I ended up going around my sister's. Um, my nana was out. Like, I didn't have the key. And I didn't want to disturb my auntie because she's... Um, well, I didn't know if she was in anyway, like, to borrow our key. And, yeah, I figured, ugh, I'll just go around to Amy's because then Amy texted me. I think she was expecting me round because she was like, I've got hash browns in the oven for you. So I was like, oh, awesome. So I went round to Amy's. I was only there, like, an hour. Uh, the Ben was, like, asleep when I got there. And then he was awake, like, for, like, half an hour. Um, and then she just dropped him off at his granny and granddad's. And me and Amy have come out to Danny Toys because we both need some supplies. It's a haberdashery shop near, like, round where we live. Funny story, it used to be a sweet factory. And my grandma worked in it when it was a sweet factory. And then she worked in it when it was a haberdashery. So anyway, we've come to Danny Toys. Uh, we're in separate cars. She's not quite here just yet. But anyway, we're going to go in and I'll show you around what I can. I think I said, like, before we went into Danny Toys that we're, we're going into Danny Toys, which is a haberdashery. And uh, we've got a few things, didn't we? We're going to Hobbycraft instead because we both just need things for making things and um and, and we've come to mcdonald's this was amy's idea <laughs> so the pig. i'm just really hungry like all i had was one piece of toast for breakfast which i don't normally do but i didn't want toast and basically there was no pastries in and you don't have pastries like every day so do you i don't have i had hash browns yeah and then you made me some yeah, exactly. So you've eaten hash browns today. Hash browns and a piece of toast and I'm starving again. Like, I constantly eat. What is the sign for? Is there no ice? Oh, we apologise currently. No milkshake, no ice cream. Oh, that's okay. I don't want that anyway. So anyway, we've come to McDonald's and then we're going to go to Hobbycraft. And I just thought I'd update is because uh, nothing much has happened today. I mean, I was supposed to meet... Oh, that's what I was going to say. I didn't record in Dainty Toys because there's a big sign up saying no filming and no pictures. So that's why I didn't record. But don't worry, I'll record in Hobbycraft. <laughs> Amy! <laughs> Was it still filming? Yes, it's still filming. I'm still putting that in the vlog so people hear how much of a scruff you are. <laughs> Order my chips. Go, go. I want large Coke and a medium fries, please. Can I have all the chips for the pig? <laughs> McDonald's, McDonald's. Okay, we're in Hobbycraft and Amy's acting like an absolute idiot. Hello, my name is Terry Dactyl, and I like to eat glitter. Oh, Amy, you've got issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm not with you. Look at all the prettiness. So I don't know what I'd do with rainbow tape, but it's just really pretty. So far, my my basket that I don't actually have a basket. Thirty quid. Yes. Eh? Thirty quid for that. Why is that 30 and this is 10? I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Wow. <gasps> Stickers! Oh, look at the bee. The bee is cute. <laughs> that is pretty. Drag that basket, Amy. <laughs> How cool is this? I don't know if you can see it, but how cool is that little glittery pink compartment thing I've just bought in Hobbycraft? And I'm waiting for Amy. I don't know what happened. She was at the till before me. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, Toby. What are you doing? Have I come to see you? I know you. I've come to me Nana's for a little bit because Amy's gone home now. Well, and I'm going to have dinner at me Nana's. And look what I found in Poundland. <gasps> look at this. Are we going to play? This pound Tamagotchi, eh? Guys, I've just gotten home. I can't remember when the last time was that I spoke to you. I feel like it was in Hobbycraft, I want to say. But anyway, after that I went to me Nana's. Oh no, I spoke to you at me Nana's. Yeah, I went around me Nana's and I ended up having dinner at me Nana's and watching the match at me Nana's and watching the football with my Nana was so hilarious. I wasn't even really interested, but like, I don't know. I think it was because like, Matthew had gone to his parents and I was like, me Nana was like, oh, I'll make you dinner. And she has like a telly. So I was like, yeah, okay. And then she was, I was like, oh, well, we may as well stick the match on. 
So yeah, we did. So I ended up watching the football at my nana's and it's just hilarious watching it with my nana. Did I tell you, Matthew? At one point, did you see that bit where towards the end, one of the England people, for whatever reason, like hurt himself and he was stood near the goal or somebody hurt him or something. And then he was stood with his shorts like right up the top of his like, groin. And my nana was like, oh, we don't want to see those balls pet. <laughs> she, I was probably like, nana. She was like, get them balls away and get the other ones out. I was like, oh my God, nana. It's so funny. Yeah. I'm home now, so I'm gonna go to bed because I'm knackered and extremely shiny apparently. So I'm gonna go to sleep, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Morning everyone, just getting my groceries. <laughs> I've been waiting here a while and the scanner wouldn't scan my code. So I don't know if it scanned it or if it went off and I need to start again, like it doesn't say. <laughs> I've just done it again because it wasn't working. So I hope they're not angry that I've done it twice. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. Woo! What's weird is, is that I had the exact same lady that I had last time, and last time she like didn't really talk to us. She seemed really like shy and a bit down, if I'm honest. Like I was like, oh, I wonder if she's having a bad day, bless her. And then today I've had the same woman, and she came out the door, and she was like, morning, honey, and she was, quite a bit more talkative so uh yeah that was interesting so anywho going home now and we'll put the shopping away when i get in so i'm back home i'm very tired um what i didn't mention is that it's actually friday so last time i spoke to you was actually wednesday I do apologize i didn't record yesterday oh my god the rabbit's bush looks so bad it's basically dead i don't understand all the other bushes and flowers in the garden are absolutely fine just typical isn't it Anyway, so yeah, I know I look like an absolute tip, but I always do. Yeah, um, I, I'm really just trying to get down to the nitty gritty now of Secret Project. Like, it needs to happen. It will be happening within the next two weeks. Three, maximum. Like, I need it launched. Like, it's getting ridiculous. It's coming down to it. Yeah, so it's basically just me at the computer constantly, and that was yesterday. So I do apologise, I did get a package from Disney Store yesterday, so now I have two packages. I think I mentioned on Wednesday that there was another package that I got. So now I've got two packages to show you. I have already put them up on Instagram, and the reason I didn't show you guys yesterday is because, well basically, the first one on Tuesday, I recorded it. I think I already explained this, but I was in such a rush to get to the doctors that I didn't have time to record it for you as well, so I will do it now. And then the other package came yesterday and it was important that I got it straight up on Instagram because they are released in store today. I thought it would be okay if I just told you guys today with the other package because you'll just see it on Monday or when you watch this anyway. Uh, so yeah, that is why I didn't really come on yesterday. Like I had so much to do, it was unreal. Like I've still got loads to do. Like I feel like the weekly vlogs are gonna be like this for the next week or two, a bit choppy, but kind of missing days out just because I'm so busy with stuff so i hope that's okay i'll obviously still record when i do things but when i'm busy with secret project it's just me at the computer it's really not interesting anyway so it is friday i've had a bit of a stressful morning it's gonna make sense when i show you what i got from disney store i will show you so hang on but basically disney store have released some adult t-shirts by this point you should probably already know this if you don't then they've released adult t-shirts it's amazing they're only 16 pound and they're beautiful so i got sent two yesterday i will show you them and they are releasing them in two phases so today and the end of the month the 30th of july they're releasing a hercules one obviously everybody's gonna go nuts for this one this one was supposed to be released on the 30th but then i got an email while i was collecting my groceries saying that the Hercules one has been moved forward to today because it's so popular. So I was like, oh Lord, I need to get home and order it right now. So I tried to do it on my mobile while I was waiting, but then obviously the lady came out of my shopping. So I was like, right, I'll just do it when I get home. I got home and the large had already sold out. So I was like, Lord, hurry up. So I went onto the computer so I could do it properly and like tell everyone on Instagram and everything, you know, like the t-shirts up and the Hercules one has been moved forward. Like I like to keep everybody in the know. Like I really try hard with my Instagram. <laughs> Shameless plug, but if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you really should. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to order it and I wanted to order it to store because you guys know I hate paying delivery. And if you don't know that, then I do, I hate paying delivery. I think four pound is a lot for delivery as well from Disney store. Like I love Disney store, don't get me wrong, but I just think four pound delivery is a lot or 3.95 or whatever it is. 
Um, so yeah, I tried to order to store and it wouldn't let us. And I was like, why is it not letting me order to store? And I was like messaging my friend Jamie, who I meet for the Mickey Memories, because he orders in the store. And I was like, Jamie, it's not working. Like, why can't I order in the store? Like, it's going to sell out. The extra large sold out. Like, I was on with this for about 40 minutes. I was like, I don't understand. Like, it won't let me order in the store. So I signed in. And then it took off my Disney Life code. I was doing it as a guest because I can only use my Disney Life code as a guest. I've had that problem for years. It's so annoying. Um, <clears throat> my throat's really croaky. So yeah, I signed in and I put in the Disney Life code and it wouldn't work. And I was like, I don't really care about using the Disney Life code if it means I can deliver it in the store because it's going to work out cheaper anyway. Like the delivery's £4 and the Disney Life is only 10%. So I was like, I don't care. Like... It won't let me use it fine so i took it off and i went to go through a checkout and it was like invalid code remove code before proceeding to checkout and i was like i did remove the code so i unticked it again and i unticked it and i unticked it and i unticked it and oh my i'm so stressed right now it would not like it would let me untick it and then when i would click go to checkout it just went back to the basket and was like untick it you haven't unticked it and I was like I have unticked it and I even sent a video to Jamie and I was like what is wrong with it Jamie and he was like I have no idea what's wrong with it like maybe the site's really busy because of the t-shirts so I tried signing out and doing it as a guest again and then it was saying that the code's still invalid even though it always lets me use my Disney life basically I think it just messed up but because I signed in I went onto my mobile to try and do it on my mobile and it automatically had the same pro like problem on my mobile because it was like invalid code. And I was like, no, because it obviously recognised my account. Try to sign out, trying to sign in. Anyway, in the end, it would not work. And I was like, it's it's going to sell out. Like it's pro like it has sold out in the medium now. So Jamie was like, I'll order it in the store for you and we'll get it on Tuesday when we get the Mickey memories. So Jamie saved my life, but I am so frustrated and agitated right now, like it's like a Mickey Memories for a t-shirt, like what's going on? So I don't know what's wrong with my Disney life or my Disney account, but it looks like I can never shop online again with Disney because my my account won't let me go through a checkout unless it sorts itself out and it's just busy because of the way the website is right now because it's really popular with the t-shirts. <sighs> now I'm going to put my shopping away. See, I ran upstairs to do that. And then after Jamie ordered me the t-shirt, I was like, and relax. And I was like, oh my God. My shopping's still downstairs and there's a bag of frozen stuff on the floor. So let's put my shopping away. I'm gonna have my pastries and I'm going to relax. I can't believe I've been up since eight o'clock and it's now 10 o'clock and I'm only just having my breakfast. That was way too stressful. It's a t-shirt. It's okay, we've ordered it. Calm down, have the pastries. I think that's pretty bad though, that it wasn't sold out and because my website just decided to go crazy, I spent like 45 minutes trying to order something that was in stock. Like if Jamie hadn't ordered it, I would not have got it now. Like that's really frustrating and bad. Like as a, you know, a Disney website, it should work better than that. So never mind, I got it in the end. it's quite a few hours later i ended up having to go up to the computer and just work like oh i'm so stressed oh it's come down to it though like i'm getting through stuff i'm hoping that secret project will be out and launched in about two weeks so i will let you know probably in a week what it is and then yeah i'm sorry oh i'm so out of breath <laughs> i'm sorry i haven't been able to tell you earlier but i've got nothing to show yet and i don't just want to say it do you know what i mean but anyway i realized that this week has been just ridiculous like i didn't record monday or tuesday wednesday i don't i can't even remember how much i did thursday i didn't record and then today is friday so i've been at the computer again all day don't worry me and matthew are going to do some fun things over the weekend though but i thought i would show you the packages that i keep talking about so so it's actually half six so normally i would sit on the bed and put you here but honestly i'm an absolute tip so i'll just show you what i got sent and trust me, this is better to look at than me right now. So I got sent from Disney from Typo um, this little Snow White bundle. They have like a Snow White range out at the minute. So I've left them in the packaging because I like to keep everything in its box the best I can until I've done the monthly Disney hauls, which I'm so behind on. So this is how busy I am. I recorded a video on Sunday with Matthew and I don't even have time to edit it. That's how crazy this is. So I do apologize, please bear with me. I promise it'll be over soon. I am a lot more stressed about it than you are, I promise. So, yes, Typo sent me um, 
these slippers these are the small and medium oh my goodness they are so squishy and i think they're great for like now as well because i always like to wear slippers and stuff on my feet but then they'd have no backs on so these aren't going to be too hot so these are definitely definitely going to be coming in handy like now and then especially as it starts to cool down so it's hashtag 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 nap queen so they're 15 and i got a small medium and i'm a size five to six and they fit like i've tried them on and i've put them back in so they sent me them so i'll put the links for everything below guys and then they sent me this really cool evil queen t-shirt um i really need to get some pictures and all this stuff i've just got so more little time and so much to do anyway i always ask for mediums you guys know that uh, i like everything oversized so this is now reduced to 12 pound it was 25 so that's great and it's re it looks really pretty if i say it looks really pretty i've had it out when i've put it back in because it's just easier for me to remember to do everything for the haul and then this one i've had out and i've had it back in as well how amazing is this by the way it is a not it it's oh i'm gonna have to show you like i'm still just i just oh wow i mean i still can't believe that i get sent stuff um and i don't want to sound unappreciative if i'm being quick if i opened them a couple of days ago and i'm just really tired i just really want to show you is but this especially like if you watch my instagram you'll have seen how excited i was but um yeah this is just i mean look at it this is a lamp guys i've still got the batteries in i'll show you oh lordy how cool is it and like for halloween i feel like you could like carry it around like this like a little like lamp for trick-or-treating or something like i love it i absolutely adore it this is going in sarah lou hq this is going in the garage because it's really cool so that is reduced as well i think how much does it say it is so that's 20 look at the packaging as well by the way it's so gorgeous honestly this whole range snow white evil queen range just absolutely love it and snow white isn't even my favorite disney movie um but this range is beautiful i mean she looks beautiful this is epic i mean look at the size of it this is big yes i had to cut all my nails off because i snapped four of them building those shelves the other day uh but yeah how just beautiful is that it's really beautiful it's not even coming up in person it it feels bigger than it looks on camera can't explain it but yeah so disney sent me these and i'll put all the links below these are all from typo um, I haven't got very much from Typo because they only have stores down in London and I've only ever managed to get down to the store once and they'd sold out a lot of the Disney stuff but they do loads of cute like stationery and all that like kind of really cool stuff for your desk but yeah they have an amazing Disney range if you followed along with me a few weeks ago sorry I'm Russian I've just got a lot to do um then I got like when I was at that uh, Mickey 90 festival event I got gifted some Typo stuff and it's all beautiful like the pen and the notepad and everything so yeah i got sent these and i am eternally grateful i really am um no i really am i just i'm a little bit stressed right now but i really want to show you all that so that is what i got sent on monday and then yesterday hang on so i'm uh, pretty sure i explained to you this morning disney store have released a disney adult t-shirt range i've known about it for a little while they did tell me a little while ago but um you know i didn't have anything to show you until now so they released the kiddies t-shirt range a little while ago and i remember when i went into store it was a few months now and i was like you know i bet you out they're gonna release an adult range and they have and i'm so glad that they have seriously i cannot explain to you the quality of these t-shirts oh like I, I kept going on about it in my instagram story i was probably bugging everyone but these are amazing right and get this these are £16. These are adult official Disney t-shirts and they are £16. And this one, I'm sorry, but what does that remind you of? That is literally original Aladdin 90s retro classic artwork. I am very sure that I had a t-shirt and matching leggings and my, also so did my sister because we matched each other when I was like younger. Like, that is so just 90s artwork. I absolutely adore it like if i hadn't been sent this i would have been buying this i'm not even joking so yeah disney sent me hang on let me get the paperwork again sorry i didn't show you this yesterday like i did my instagram everything's just a bit crazy right now i've just got so much to do but they sent me this so this this um phase one is released today in store so when you watch this it's already up and then phase two is the 30th of july apart from the hercules one has now been moved over to phase one because of the popularity of people just finding out about the t-shirts i wasn't the only one that was gifted stuff obviously and once word got around that there was a hercules t-shirt in phase two they knew it was going to be popular and they moved it up to phase one so 
that was what I was trying to get this morning and I managed to get it thanks to Jamie so thank you Jamie so I'm picking that up on Tuesday with my Mickey memories uh, so yeah let's have a look so we've got um we've got a solo top here this one I really really want I think oh god I really shouldn't but I think I'm going to pick up in stores tomorrow if they have a medium uh, I got mediums and um, these fit me like well I'm going to be wearing one tomorrow when we go to the shop so I'll show you but these fit me so that the Nice and baggy, but not like really oversized, and they cover my tush because you guys know I like to wear my my little like short legging things and leggings, and I like to cover my tush because when you wear leggings you're supposed to. But never mind. Anyway, yeah. So these are the ones. Um, Emperor's New Groove, a nice Mickey one there. That's this one here. It looks a lot darker in that picture. Black Panther, and then a Chip and Deal. So these are in stores now as well as this Hercules one. Is it focusing? There we go. And then on the 30th, I think that's all Mickeys. It's kind of hard to make out. And then this Mickey, Grumpy. Is that Grumpy? Yeah, Grumpy. I have this one, I'll show you in a second, and I really want this one. I mean, it's Mickey and Minnie, and it's pink and blue, for goodness sake. If there was a t-shirt made for me, it's right there. So yeah, they came in this lovely box. Um, I think I have all sizes of this box now, which is just fabulous. So thank you very much, Disney Store. They come in so handy, I love them. So that is all the t-shirts that they're bringing out. They come in extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. They are unisex fitting, and they are all £16. So I adore this range i can't even tell you how much i adore them like, i'm not just saying that like as soon as i got them out they are so bright and beautiful like they're just beautifully done the quality honestly i would pay 30 quid for this top and not question it that's how good these tops are like when i found out that they were all 16 i was like what are you kidding me like aren't the kids ones like eight or something like half price so it's like yeah i just think they're great so there's that one and then they also sent me the Tinkerbell one from Phase 1. Oh no, sorry, from Phase 2? Yeah, so I got the Tinkerbell one from Phase 2. So this one is out on the 30th. Um, how nice is it? Honestly, I can't even tell you how, like... It's so soft as well. It's really well done. It's really bright. This pink is gorgeous. Like, it's a little bit more brighter in person. Uh, so is Tinkerbell. Like, honestly... These are beautiful. So yeah, like I said, I get mediums and they're all £16 and they're in stores now and I got sent them and I had to get them up on my Instagram yesterday to let everybody know they were in stores. Um, so I'm sorry I didn't show you guys then. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just a bit kind of... I've just got a lot on and I'm just really trying to get launched and I'm just a bit stressed. But you guys know that I appreciate everything that I get sent. Like, I hope you do anyway. Like, especially that one. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. So yeah. I just wanted to show you them. That was what I got sent on Monday and the tops I got sent yesterday. So I'm going to wear the Aladdin one out tomorrow. So I'll show you what it fits like. Uh, and I got mediums. But I probably fit an extra small. And I do have a small in a range that they did about two years ago. And it fits. And then an extra small fits, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, I like the mediums. I'll show you tomorrow. But I'm going to head downstairs. Um, I've just done some tidy and I think I time lapsed it. And then I'm going to make the dinner and I'm going to have to be working tonight. So I'm going to be working most of the night. It's kind of getting to the point now where it's like I don't have time to not do anything. Like I don't have time to chill because it's it's not good. I, like, I need to do things like it's... Yeah, I'm stressed. I hope you can tell, but I hope it's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I hope it's okay, but yeah, I just wanted to show you them. So I'm just going to have to get on with things, and I promise I'll get back to you, and it will get more interesting before the end of the week as well, because me and Matthew are going to see Incredibles tomorrow, we're going to have a look in Disney Store, it will get more interesting, just bear with me. <laughs> You my legs. When do you think it got to the point in our relationship when you do too much for me? Well, it was years ago. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Me and Matthew have just gotten to you. Are we in Seaham or Seaburn? Seaburn. Seaburn. Does it say? I don't know. Anyway, basically we're here for the tall ships, which I don't actually think I've been to before, even though I've lived in this area all my life. So let's go and see if we can see some tall ships. Are you excited? 
Yeah, I hear bongos. Can you hear the bongos? When was the last time you played the bongos, Matthew? Oh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> the last time I played bongos was in York Minster, my graduation day. Oh, I thought it was in college. You played them since then, then, have you? Yeah, I was in a. You did the bongo moves. Bongo band. Oh I wasn't my. Called that. Oh yeah, you African, were. African drum band. Oh my god, he's so funny. Oh, there's a, there's a band going on. All right, I have to pee. I have to pee. She pooped. I was just saying to Matthew, if I come out of the Hollow blue, name that movie and I will personally send you a virtual hug. <laughs> it's not as busy as I thought it would be actually. But there's also a lot of dogs. Which is a good thing. What have we got? I am um, salad from Morrison's. Was it good? It's yeah. alright, yeah. Everyone else is having chips and we're having salad. Why are we having salad? We had no money, so we had yeah. to go to Morrison's to yeah. get cash. Basically, I really wanted to drink. And everywhere only takes cash, so the nearest cash point was Morrison's, so we just went in and got food. Me and Matthew um, are just laughing because we're sat here having our Morrison salad and we're basically just dog watching. You making a mess? Where's that big fluffy dog that I just spotted? Is it gone? Basically just drooling over all the dogs that walk past. Dog spotting. Typical there's none walking past right now. Look at all the ships. I don't know if you can see them but there's a lot of ships. There is a band on. You guys probably can't see them, but there is a band on. I'm sure you can hear them. Almost like a festival, but not. We're on the bus now. Because we're going to go and see the Incredibles. Oh, it's warm up here, isn't it? We're heading back to the car now because, well, because we've got a cinema. We've got the Incredibles booked for half seven and it's like, was it like five o'clock maybe? So we want to get there in good time and we need to do just a little bit of shopping. Matthew needs some new shorts and glasses because once again he's lost his glasses. And I see, you, you could own shares in Primark's two pound men's glasses. The amount of pairs you've owned. So, get off me. Oh yeah, I, sh I, I told them I would show them how this top fits. Put it on me. So, this is the Disney store t-shirts. The new adult ones. This is a medium and this is how it fits. So, just cover my tush. Yeah. Very much like Do you like it, Matthew? With my pink leggings, I feel like I'm looking very nice today. So yeah, we're going back to the car now because, uh, well, it's still really warm, but this, the, what was it like a band from Louisiana was on? And they were really good. But then another band came on and they weren't very good. <laughs> well, I'm sure they were good, but like, we just need to get away now because uh, we need to go to Metro and do a little bit of shopping before the movie. Are you excited for Incredibles? I've heard it's very good, so let's go to the shops. Uh, all of this is supposed to be for more cars. Like this is not a very busy car park at all, is it? No wonder they're charging four pound each for the buses. I think we've just covered that man's petrol. Oh, uh, okay, hang on. Goodbye. Metro Center time. And a little bit of shopping time for Matthew. <laughs> what were you just saying, Matthew? Is it appropriate to walk around with no shoes on? I would much rather take both my shoes off right now and just walk on barefoot. <laughs> Why have you it, taken it off anyway? I had stuff in it. It's so weird. Shall we go to Primark? Primark new. We're going to the men's section first. Are you going to put that back on? <sighs> yes, you're going to have to. Come on then.
what you got. Mm. I've had it before and I'm, I've just got a normal one. It's like normal wrap or whatever it's called. It is good. warm as in that cinema though so anyway basically what we're talking about is that oh it's like being abroad nice, isn't it it's not even focused on me basically Incredibles was incredible <laughs> <laughs> pardon the pun no actually it was really good wasn't it Matthew yeah, it was. how quiet is it it's god you wouldn't think that the car park had this many cars in it and stuff and it was like this quiet like seriously listen it's really quiet anyway um yeah the movie was really really good like i'm actually tempted to, like not that the first one wasn't good but i feel like this one might have been better than the second one yeah do you know really, what i mean it like awesome. it was really good like i was laughing quite a lot like jack jack is hilarious yeah i thought it might have been like a bit over the top and cheesy when i've seen like some of the stuff but like it wasn't it was so funny so yes probably one of the best disney movies for a while really like no, that's, that's making it sound like the rest aren't good. But it was really good, basically, wasn't yeah, it? it? Was awesome. yeah, really you enjoyed it. it. Uh -huh. But we do have one complaint, and that is that the cinema was boiling hot. As soon as we walked in, it was like roasty toast. Oh, why is it not? It keeps it's focusing on a metal center behind us. Anyway, um, yeah, it was like as soon as you walked in, it was boiling. Just like the in that the, the yeah in that screen. Like the rest of the, the, the rest of, yeah you could feel the aircon and anyway we walked in and it like Matthew was like literally sweating straight away and then um I actually said like should I go and tell them before the movie starts can you just put some aircon in there but then I thought surely they would put it on if they've got it yeah. that many people on it's such so a hot, hot day I'm in like a vest top and shorts yeah I'm in shorts and as well. Absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, like, but you weren't the only one. You could tell other people like were desperate to get out, and people were drinking water. People, as soon as you stepped out of like that cinema bit, you could feel the aircon in the corridor outside that screen. It was like insane, and you could feel people going, like, hear people going, "Oh my god!" when they came out. But oh, just get in the car. So yeah, it was like ob <laughs> obscenely warm in there. And like you actually had like a layer, didn't you? Oh, I, I, of moist. I had sweat running down my face throughout the movie. Like that's not good. Not, that's like, not. That's I'm one glad of the, the most. The movie was really good because yeah. otherwise that would have been a horrible experience. That is one of the most expensive cinemas ever. Like it's it's expensive, but what you do, what you pay for is the fact that it's it is a lovely cinema. Like it's comfortable. Like I like that cinema. But um, like Odeon, <laughs> me good Odeon. But um. Yeah, that was ridiculous. So I was going to complain, but I'm not really one for complaining. So we've kept the tickets and we're just going to tweet them and be like, you do realise that that cinema was the temperature of the sun? Like, I wish, because um, I realised afterwards when we came out that my phone tells the temperature. Is that the right way to say it? So um, I wish I'd looked in the cinema and screenshotted what the temperature was. But when we came out and I went into the Leo, I got my phone out and it said 21, which is... And that was outside in the air condition. That was in the air con. So I kind of wish that I'd uh, I was just so uncomfortable. Sorry. Checked it. I'm all right because I'm always cold, and I like it too hot. Like even during the night when we've got the fan on and it's been hot the last couple of weeks, I still have the quilt on, 
Like, I love it being too hot. So, like, you know that question, too hot or too cold? Too hot. Like, I love it. It's not too hot. It's lovely. But I came out feeling dehydrated and stuffy. Like, it was hot. Whereas you were just sweating. But anyway, other than that, it was really good. Um, we kind of rushed around Primark. I think I showed you a few things. And we had a bit of a... We rushed around Disney Store, didn't we? Um, Matthew's got to do it. Tell them about the Pret Cookies. Oh, it's too soon. It's too soon. I don't know if I've even ever showed you guys. Do you think I'll have shown them when we went down? Pret do an awesome vegan cookie. Yeah. They've discontinued it. Basically, we found it when we went to London. Were we at the train station? And you were like, it's vegan. Is that the first time? I think so. Anyway, Pret do this cookie that is like godly. It's the best cookie I've ever had. It's the best cookie you've ever had. It was like double chocolate. It was it was like squishy. It was gooey. It was gooey. It was chocolatey. It was chocolatey. It was just so good. It was basically the best cookie you'll ever have in your life. And uh, it just happened to be vegan. And I think I got I got you one for your birthday, didn't I? Yeah. Which sounds stupid, but I did. And then the last few times I've gone in, I've tried to get it. And every time I come back from London, there's a pret at the train station, so I've tried to get one. And uh Matthew went in when I was peeing at Disney Store and they've discontinued it. Why? They've just brought it out. And you asked as well, didn't you? And there's four baked goods at Pret that are vegan appropriate and they've all been recalled, discontinued. And now there's nothing, like, dessert-wise at Pret for vegans. So, well, as far as I'm aware, there's Well, yeah, so. yeah. Oh, what, the little chocolate thing, the little bounty. No, that'll still be there. The stuff on the front. The big like the stuff. Like the big stuff, like the cookies and all that stuff. That's crazy. Like. Gutted. Oh, why? It was so good. I just thought about eating it there and it upset me. Yeah, it's a good cookie. Anyway, we're going to go home. <clears throat> I thought it was cookie because I'm tired. Yes, we're going home and I'll probably speak to you tomorrow because by the time I get home, I'll be absolutely pooped. So, what are we doing tomorrow? Uh, yeah, we're going to your mum's at some point since your birthday. Yeah, it's my mum's birthday. I haven't got her anything because we weren't at the shops long enough. But she also, like, my mum's like the hardest person to shop for, isn't she? Oh, well. Like, you can't even buy her flowers because they've got hay, or buy, like, hay fever in that house. You can't buy them flowers. She doesn't, she doesn't, like, want wine or anything. Like, she, she's, she, she doesn't need chocolate. She's got expensive taste. Mother's Day, I tried to get her Ben & Jerry's vegan ice cream. Because I thought she was trying to be vegan. Got yeah, I got her out, thinking, she, oh, she'll like that. And then she did, well, she ate it, but honestly, my mum, she was like impossible to buy for. So she was like, oh, don't worry about it. So we've got her a card. She's not bothered. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll go home and we'll see you tomorrow for whatever we get up to tomorrow. See you. Goodbye, Matthew. Goodbye, Matthew. <laughs> everyone it is sunday i don't know what my hair is doing it's gone into like bouffant kind of mode it's like absolutely full of batiste and look at my roots as well oh lord anyway it's sunday have you spotted what's behind me have you spotted what's behind me oh oh lord <laughs> this is the best thing i own ever literally hands down the best thing i own ever Oh my god, it's an actual hockey tee as well, like if you look at the material. So if you look, it's like proper hockey material, like it's an actual hockey top, like it's really thick. Like, oh my god, I can't even tell you how obsessed I am with this. I am so happy. It came, I want to say yesterday morning, because obviously Sundays you don't get posts, or the day before. Honestly. I literally think I cried when I when I got it out of the box, like the packet. I was like, like it's an actual hockey t-shirt. I think this is to connect it to like your padded short things that they wear. Like, it, oh my god, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> so there was a couple of different ones to choose from. I love how it says D5 on it. Obviously, District Five. Um, I got Charlie's. That doesn't stand for Charlie though. That stands for Captain because Charlie's the captain. Uh, he was number 96. Um, so Conway. So I got a medium as well because I like everything oversized. Literally, it is an actual... Oh my god, this makes me so happy. Like, literally, I never thought ever 
that I would own an official Mighty Ducks jersey. Like, it's just not something you can buy in Disney. It's not something you can buy anywhere. Like, well, obviously it is now, but like, oh my God, I'm just so happy. I can't even, I can't stop saying oh my God as well. I know I shouldn't, but uh, this just makes me unbelievable. Like, if you told me when I was younger, well, when you're older, you will have an official Mighty Ducks hockey top. I'd be like, no, that's like too, that's just too cool. Uh, so yeah, come, come the colder weather, I'm going to live in this. I am going to live in this. I am so happy. I kind of want to get all of them. Um, yeah, basically, when I was on the way to London the other week, I was watching Mighty Ducks. And I know I've just gotten the black Mighty Ducks t-shirt, which you've like, seen me wearing at the beginning of the week. Like, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I wear it all the time. So I know I have the black one and I have the white one, which I've not actually worn yet because it's a size small because Matthew got me it and... There was only small available in the shops, but he knew how much I loved the Mighty Ducks, so he got me it for, I want to say Christmas, so it fits, but um, it's a bit short to wear with leggings and stuff, so I'll probably wear it if I ever, like, fit back into jeans, because obviously you guys know I'm I'm attempting to lose weight right now. It's going well, though, but I'm not going to talk about that too much. I was on the way to London, and I was wearing my black one, and I was like, you know what, I'd love an original green one. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to have a look online and see if you can actually get it. And you can! I found it! I found an original green one! At first, they were like 70 quid and stuff, and I was like, I'm not paying 70 quid. Like, I'll ask for it for Christmas. And then I found it. 20 quid. Best 20 quid I have ever spent. I will put the link below. You can get Conway. You can get, um... Oh my god, I just had all the names in my head. Uh, you can get Goldberg, so the goalie. Banks, you can get Banks if you want to be Banks, so the Hawks. Um, guy that, like, transfers over. Uh, yeah, you can get quite a few of them, but I got Conway because Charlie is just... I mean, it's Charlie, come on. And he's the captain, so I get a C on my jersey. So yeah, I got Conway, I got Charlie, I'm so happy. But yeah, I really want Goldberg as well, but it would just be the same. So um, you can get the black one, and you can get the one when they are Team America. Uh, the white one, so I'm kind of tempted to get a Team America one and get the Goldberg one. But I'm already being, like, naughty. I shouldn't have... Like, this was only 20 quid, I suppose. But, yeah, maybe in the winter. Or I'll ask for another one for Christmas or something. But how amazing is it? It's literally like the original. Uh, yeah, I'll put the link below. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I just had to show you. Anyway, I've spent five minutes talking about this <laughs> Oh, this is just amazing. I'm just in love. Like, if you don't already know, or if you have no idea what this is, uh, this is the Mighty Ducks original jersey, District 5, um, when they turn into the Ducks. I'm obsessed with the Mighty Ducks. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Uh, I have seen all of them, but number one's my favourite. Uh, oh my god, I'm just obsessed right now. <laughs> like, I'm so happy. <gasps> oh, so I got the medium. Um, it fits like a medium top fits on me. I'm kind of tempted to say though that I might have liked large to make it look really oversized because they do wear them really big. Like Charlie wears his a lot like in the second and third movie I want to say. I think it's the third movie he wears his and he wears it really big. And I think for me to have that kind of fit I should have got a large but I thought it would be bigger than it is because it's a hockey top. In fact I'll put it on and I'll show you what it looks like because it's amazing. Hang on. Okay so... Ignore my hair and everything. I have my nightie on underneath. This is a medium. Uh, it is big fitting. So it covers my touche. So I can easily wear it with leggings. Um, like I usually do. Like that's my touche there. You can't really tell because of like, yeah. So my leggings would come like here, my short ones. Uh, so yeah. It does like fit like I want it to fit. Like when I buy t-shirts, like the Disney tops when I get the mediums. But I kind of feel I would have liked a large so that it was massive, like a big hockey top. So yeah, I might get another one. Like this one I feel I could wear, it's so, like this is so like stiff. It's like a big kind of, I can't even explain it. And like the arms are stiff where the numbers are. Because it is meant to be like a big, like hockey top. Can you see the back? I know my hair's kind of in the way. Um... But yeah, I'm just so happy about this situation right now. Like, I kind of don't want to take it off. Like, I want to live in it. Like, I want all of them. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is like, I'm going to be wearing this constantly once it gets a bit colder. Uh, which is what being long sleeves. But, yeah, I kind of feel like I still want a large. Just so it's like a massive hockey top. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I just love it. So... I don't know whether to get Goldbergs as well and get the large 
and then I can wear this one when I don't want it as big and then wear Goldberg's. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I'll put the link below, guys, if you're as obsessed with me. If you have no idea what I'm talking about or you're just not that interested in Mighty Ducks, then fair enough. But, uh, yeah, I'm very happy about this. So, this is the medium. Because the fitting chart well, that I bought from was a bit weird. So, yeah, somebody said, like, oh, they fit like how normal... UK tops would fit in a medium so I was like oh well a medium is what I normally wear for oversized and it is oversized it's just not as oversized as I want for a massive hockey top so I should have realized that like this is how a medium fits me basically in unisex clothes um so yeah I should have ordered a large but never mind I'm still obsessed so I'll put the link below I thought I'd show you what I bought yesterday at Metro Centre so let me go and get the bags. Okay, I hope this angle's okay. My hair's so like bouffant here and then ugh, it needs dyed and stuff. So, um, we're going to be going over my mum's in a bit because it's our birthday. I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to record at my mum's just because we literally go and then we just sit on the sofa and like all catch up and we're also going to be watching the World Cup final. So, I'll probably not record and then when we get back will not be doing much so i might just actually end the vlog after this if that's okay with you guys i promise you're not missing anything but i bought one thing in disney store i did intend to buy that bell cup because i have vouchers um i'm trying to be good with money but because i had vouchers you know i'm not spending my money i'd be spending the vouchers i know i've just bought that mighty ducks top but that was like a necessity anyway so i got to the tail and I didn't take the vouchers so i was like oh man because i'm going to be buying the mickey memories on Wednesday. I keep saying, I think I've been saying earlier in the week Tuesday, but Mickey Memories is Wednesday, so my bad. The plush and the cup. And I've, like, Jamie sent that Hercules top in store for me, so I'm already spending a naughty amount of money on Wednesday. So when she said, oh, we don't take the vouchers, I was like, okay, I'll leave the cup and I'll just get the t shirt because it was the last medium. And I know they're selling out like crazy. Like, these Disney tops have gone down so well. Apparently, I've been told that they're bringing out quite a large adult range uh, and I was speaking to Hannah as well, Hannah Marie Magic and she was saying that some, so uh, her store told her that they're bringing out quite a large adult range soon so look out for more adult range guys in Disney store. So yeah I left the cup just because I kind of need to be good with money but I couldn't leave this because I was like it's the last medium, it's selling out. So this is the other one I got and I'll show you the Hercules one next week when I get it, like I haven't picked it up yet. So oh my god. See, this is the problem. Like, I feel like this camera doesn't show up colours very well. This t-shirt is so, like... Oh, just, the colours are just gorgeous. Uh, so, yeah, it's tie-dye. It's just tie-dye on the back. And then Genie, Aladdin, Jasmine, carpet, and a boo. And then it says Aladdin. So that was 16. And again, I just got the medium. Because that's how, that's how I like my clothes. Um... So, yeah, that was £16. I bought that in Disney Store. That's all I bought in Disney Store. It was the last medium. I was like, it's meant to be. Like, I have four of these t-shirts now. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've only bought two of them, though. So, but yeah, it was. It was there. It was the last medium. And then in Primark, I'm still on the hunt for the... What do you call it? The lilac matching skirt for the jacket that I bought. But as far as I can tell, they still haven't restocked. Even though I was told that the restock would be two weeks two weeks ago so maybe the restock is this week so if anyone sees the lilac denim skirt in Primark please would you let me know so I just bought some socks I need some more colorful ones because I've been wearing my converse with my shorts so I wear ankle socks so that they don't rub and I've been all I have ankle socks wise I have loads of colored ones but you know like when you just can't find them and stuff um, like patterned ones. Like, I've got loads of Pokemon ones and stuff. So anyway, I bought some coloured socks. There was a pink pair in there as well, but I've already ripped them out and they're upstairs for me to wear today. Uh, Matthew bought a vest top. Not very interesting. Matthew bought some socks. Not very interesting. And then I have been eyeing this top up. I want to say for months. And then because I had the voucher for Primark and I was like, don't have the, the lilac denim ja uh, skirt in. And I also get the feeling I'm just not going to be able to get it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get this top with the voucher. Because I've been after it. And, I, and it was there was two mediums left. My hair's such a mess. I was like, if I, if I don't get it this time, I feel like I'm just going to miss out. So anyway, I got a medium. It's in the men's section. Did I definitely get a medium? Yeah. 
so I've been eyeing this up for months. So that on the front is embroidery. I just love the colour. I just love the colour. Look at it. You guys know I love my colour. So that's embroidered. It is really nice. It's so nice. And then on the back, it just gets better. Look at that. I love it. And then I can wear it with my my leggings and my shorts because it's like a medium men's. So that was £8, which I think is really good. So that was all I bought. Like two t-shirts, which I don't need. And yeah, two t-shirts and some socks. And then we've seen The Incredibles, which is 100% just an epic movie. Like if you haven't already seen Incredibles, seriously, go and see it. It's so good. Anyway, I'm probably just going to end this weekly vlog here because I'm literally just going to go around my mum's. Uh, we need to nip out first and see if I can get out something. I was speaking to her and she was like, oh, just get us some hand cream or something. So I'm literally just going to go to like a local shop and see if I can get her like some nice hand cream. So when we get back, we'll probably be pooped, have some dinner and go to bed because Matthew's got work in the morning and I have to edit the weekly vlog. So I'm going to end the weekly vlog here. I hope it was okay. I feel like it was a bit muddly this week, um, but I've just got a lot on. And yeah, I feel like every time I've spoken to you this week, I've been really rushed. So I do apologize. You guys know you mean the world to us. And it's just because I'm trying to get a secret project done at the minute. So I hope that's okay. But anyway, hopefully next week will be more interesting. I uh, got Mickey Memories on Wednesday. And I feel like there was something else. Yeah, it'll be a good one. I'll make sure it's more entertaining. I'll see you in my next week vlog. And thank you for watching this one, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.